Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's Youngs. Today is Friday, and that means Zer is here in the tower. Now, I do not know what he has, but I do know where he is, so let's go check him out. What did he bring us last week? Pretty sure he brought us bad juju, so what can he possibly bring us this week? I guess we're going to go ahead and find out in just one second. He is going to bring us... Here after, wow, I haven't even heard of that exotic sniper in a long time. Well, let's start here with the Legacy Heavy Weapon Ingram. So this is for year one stuff only. So if you are looking for year three and updated stuff, you could simply pass on this. Moving on to Helm of Saint 14 for the Titan. This comes with intellect and strength and the main perk here. Blinds enemies inside your Ward of Dawn. So this is specific to Defender subclass. And I'm just going to say right off the bat, this has to be the best PvE exotic armor for your Defender Titan. It is amazing. Uh, comes in handy in raids, in nightfalls, in any higher tier activities. Um, blinding your enemy is such a great tool, um, you know, throughout the activity, throughout whatever you're doing. It's just so good. And even when the enemies walk out of the bubble, they're still blinded for a short period of time, giving you many opportunities to kill them, making life a lot easier using this helm. So guys, if you don't already have this helm for your Titan, pick it up. I highly re recommend you pick it up. Even if you're just like only a PVP player, just pick it up. One day or another, you probably will use this on your Titan. Um, you know, well, of course, Destiny 2 is coming soon and, you know, destiny this destiny won't be as relevant but you know that's an that's another uh, topic but i still recommend you pick it up guys absolutely amazing pick it up just just pick it up definitely top tier uh moving on to the ats8 arachnid this is an exotic helm oh we got all helms this week all right exotic helm for the hunter this comes with intellect and strength and the main perk here golden gun lasts longer zooms in further when aimed so uh, this is specific to uh, Gunslinger subclass, and it gives you a little more time on your Golden Gun, so you could, you know, take your time with it. If enemies aren't all bunched up in a room, that's okay. If you have this on, you know, you have a little more time to kill, and you get that zoom in further when aimed, which is nice, so you could, like, cross the map Golden Gun people, um, you know, kinda, and that could be fun. It, but, you know, there's just so many better exotic armors. If you're going to rock a gunslinger, more than likely, you're probably going to go with Young Ahamkara's Spine. It's just too good. Double trip mines and they last longer. I don't know. But, yeah, ATS Arachnid, it's okay. Uh, if you're newer to the game and, you know, you're using the gunslinger subclass and you somehow have this, and it, this would be good for beginners because I feel like you know, they could take their time with it. Definitely, you don't need this in PvE. There's no reason at all you're holding on to your golden gun shots in PvE, trying to find enemies around the corners. They're not going to be hiding from you, like, in PvP. So, this is absolutely pointless in PvE. So, this would be used only in PvP. And, like I said, this is probably for, like, newer players who are still getting used to the game. This could help out, uh, you know, making golden gun a little easier for them. And yeah, and you get that extra range too, which is nice. But other than that, though, you probably could pass, guys. Uh, there are much better exotic armors out there for your hunter. You, you, this is really, it's just not the best. It's not the best. Uh, all right, moving on to the ram. Uh, this exotic helm for the warlock. This comes with discipline and strength, and the main perk here: gain increased armor and all voidwalker melee attacks trigger life steal on hit. So obviously the um. Voidwalker melee uh, trigger lifesteal on hit is specific to the Voidwalker, quite obviously. But the armor is for any subclass. So you could rock this on a Sun Singer, on a Stormcaller, and max out your armor, guys. If you're going to use the Ram, make sure you max out your armor on your subclass because the more armor you have, the more the Ram will scale with it. Uh, the lesser armor you have, the, the less the Ram will scale with it armor-wise. So... Uh, you could be fairly tanky. This did get a slight nerf. Actually, not directly, though. Uh, like Stuff like Flux Grenades uh, got buffed. Shoulder Charge got buffed. So now, even with somebody with max armor and the ram can now die from a Flux Grenade or a Shoulder Charge hit. Unfortunately, putting the ram 
in a little more awkward position in PvP, but it's still decent. You could still tank, like, let's say a few more shots from an auto rifle, maybe, or like one or two shots, probably to be more specific. Uh, it's okay. It's definitely pretty good, guys. It's decent in PvE if you want to be a little more tankier. It's decent in PvP, you know, it's overall a pretty damn decent exotic helm. I do recommend you guys pick it up. Of course, there are many options out there for warlocks, for exotic armors, but I definitely think you guys should pick it up if you don't have it already. Pretty good exotic right here. And the if you are rocking this on a Voidwalker, the lifesteal is pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It could work pretty well in PvE as well. All right, we're going to move on to the hereafter. This exotic sniper rifle. I even forgot what the hell this thing has. All right, the main perk here, the hereafter. Crouching increases scope zoom and makes it easier to aim under fire. That's right. All right, so you get a further zoom while crouched, which is nice, I guess. So on longer maps, you know, you could just crouch and get that, you know, easier chance to shoot your enemies. I don't know. There's your sights. Perfectionist magazine is refunded if all shots fired are precision kills. So uh, I definitely said it's more of a PVE perk. Snapshot, injection mold, and speed reload. And blinding light. Precision kills with this weapon cause a bright flash that can blind nearby enemies. So this sniper rifle is very awkward, guys. Because first of all, this is a PVP perk. Why the hell would you need all that extra aim in PVE? Yeah, it just doesn't make sense to me for that. And this is a, oh wait, this is a PVE perk as well. Uh, wait, 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 what did I say? This is a PVP perk because in PVE you really don't, why are you going to be just sitting there the whole time sniping enemies across the map? The, that just seems like a waste of time when you could be running up on them. I feel like that's way more fun. And this is a PVE perk. So these do not go hand in hand, these two perks. Uh, then you got snapshot, injection mold, and speed reload. Uh, snapshot's pretty decent for sure. A uh, blinding light, uh, yeah, so this, I guess, could work in PvP, but not really. I mean, how often is somebody going to be right next to you, or right next to the enemy you precision kill, you know, with your sniper, and then they're going to get blinded, and then you're going to run up on them while they're blinded? It's not going to happen all that often, guys. I would say this is a PvE perk as well, as well as this. So these could go hand in hand, kind of, but the, the exotic perk is just so weird. It's just... Just very awkward, guys. I don't know. It's an okay sniper, I guess. And I think it has pretty good aim assist from what I remember. Uh, you can try it out if you're curious. Definitely not a top-tier weapon. When do you guys ever see this? Because, shit, I, I really cannot tell you the last time I saw somebody using this. or And I, I know for a fact the last time I used this was for my review for it, which was who knows how long ago. Probably like a year ago or something. But yeah, anyway, guys, that's the hereafter. Pick it up if you like. If you're collecting, obviously pick it up. I don't need to tell you that if you're collecting. Um, if not, though, you could probably save your strange coins. Unless, uh, unless, of course, you're curious and want to try it out. Moving on to our bundles here, Monte Carlo and Super Spy. So this will cost you 30 strange coins and 25 silver dust. So, you know, if you want the Monte Carlo and you want an ornament to go with it, this is here for you. And same with the Truth and Prototype. Same price here. So, if you want the Truth and an ornament, here you go. Moving on to our Glass Needles. This will cost you three Strange Coins, three Motes of Light, and one Exotic Shard. This will change and alter your perks on your Exotic Armor. So, let's say you want Discipline, but you have Strength on your Exotic Armor. Keep rolling Glass Needles until you get your discipline and let's say you want sniper ammo but you have sidearm ammo keep rolling glass needles until you get your perfect roll moving on to three of coins let's go ahead and pop one of these for you guys i'm sure most of you know this but just in case somebody is new out there let's go ahead and pop one so three of coins you're going to go ahead and use this in your consumables and now exotic particles will pop up grants a chance to receive an exotic ingram on the next ultra kill or crucible match completion that is win or lose for pvp and usually I'll pop this every other PvP match or before every boss in a strike. And that's how I farm my exotic engrams. Of course, they are not guaranteed. And once you complete that Crucible match or kill that Ultra, exotic particles will disappear. And you will have to pop another three of coins shortly after. Uh, moving on to our heavy ammo synths. So we have a 3 for 10 deal and a 1 for 3 deal. 3 for 10 is obviously a better deal. So if you want to... If you're big into PvE activities like raids and nightfalls, go ahead and stock up on some heavy ammo synths, guys. That will definitely come in handy. 
Um, I usually keep around 80 to 100 on me on all my characters, uh, you know, just in case uh, they're fairly cheap and, you know, they, these are very nice to have for sure. Moving on to our vehicle upgrades, we have our Void Drive and our Emerald Coil. So this will change a blue rarity sparrow into a legendary sparrow and also change the contrail color on it. So we have a purple here and a green here. So if you want to be slightly different guys, you could go ahead, pick one of these up and infuse it with your blue sparrow because I rarely ever see anybody rock these. So if you want to be a little bit more unique, you can go ahead and use one because like I said, I just don't see anybody use these anymore. <laughs> Moving on to our exotic shard exchange. This will cost you seven strange coins for one exotic shard. Not a bad deal. So if you need to, you know, stock up on some exotic shards and you have the strange coins, Zer will always be here every Friday for you guys for this so there you go moving on to our mode of light exchange this will cost you two strange coins for one mode of light so let's say you want to you know grind up those factions get those packages or just simply level up your gear emotes and you have the extra strange coins lying around well this is also here for you anyway guys that is it for sir this week thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time